example. It segues me right into Gabby Douglas, great Olympian, great black female Olympian. Guess what uh, black women's problem with her is right now? Some of y'all already know. Same thing that was four years ago. Same thing that was holding her for four years ago. I'll show you again in another, another example of black folk just, you know, running around out here, uh, not being unified, can't, you know. Gabby Douglas, <clears throat> a great, by far a great, great athlete, great gymnast. Um, she's being, uh, uh, getting a lot of backlash for her hair. Again, now this isn't the first time that black women have came out against Gabby Douglas's hair. Last time we, we found out about Gabby, they did a story on her. We found out that she was raised and some white folk raised her and they didn't know how to do her hair. And y'all talked so much shit about her the last time. Four years later, y'all still talking the same fucking shit, black women, about this sister, young sister. Excellence, black excellence personified. Y'all talking shit about her hair and she's flipping, sweating. This is what she's doing. Y'all talking shit about her hair like she at the goddamn prom with it like that, which in my opinion, I wouldn't give a fuck. I still wouldn't disrespect her. Just so happens she's cutting flips. Winning medals for the goddamn country, representing the motherfucking team, and black women are out here going ham on her. That's that self-hate. That's that self-hate. I receive it every time I show love to natural hair women. Every time I show a, a preference for natural hair women. I get it all the time from black women. How the fuck can you treat a young black girl like that? How? What in your mind, what poison inside of you, what programming inside of you allows you to come out your motherfucking mouth to comment on her hair as she's being a fucking active gymnast? What has all of that, you know, a chemical process into your brain, suffocating your motherfucking scalp. How crazy is that? This is a young black girl. And y'all talking about her. What's wrong with y'all? Like, it's really hard for me to understand as she's not bothering, not, not you know, clearly not bothering anyone minding her business, doing her routines, being perfect, right? Being as excellent. You have no skills whatsoever. Nothing like what the fuck we're watching here. This super human shit we're watching her be. None whatsoever. You talking about her edges. I've been listening to black women bash other black women about their edges since I was in fucking middle school. When will that shit end? When is that shit going to stop? How long are you going to fucking hate yourselves? And not even just hating yourself, because we know you hate yourself, but then to open your mouth and spread and pass that hate on to somebody who is exemplifying black excellence on fucking TV, representing the country as a black, like what makes you come out your mouth? Is that shit funny to you? Does it make you feel better about you having to hide your motherfucking hair? Don't have one skill in a motherfucking wor world outside of twerking or some shit like that? So you're going to talk shit about this young black girl? And that's okay. It's not just one. And I can understand the situation was one black woman came out and said shit and all black women was like, bitch, shut the fuck up. That makes sense. But drones of dumbass black women talking shit about her hair. She's a child.
How does that make sense to you? What if we fuck around and have a gymnast that has a goddamn Afro puff, right? And I'm pulling it up and got a puff, you know, right here. That's what I'm waiting on. I mean, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm waiting on to see somebody in the competition with that shit like that. I'm waiting on it. Waiting on it. With the puff up, real quick. Y'all know how they be right here. Big as shit, right? I'm waiting on that. What y'all gonna say about her? Do y'all understand what you're doing every time you come out here and talk shit about another black woman having natural hair, especially in the position of Gabby Douglas? What are you, what are you saying to your daughters? What type of love could you possibly be passing around to your daughters? And in my opinion, as a community, they are all our daughters. What the fuck can you pass down? When you tweeting about an Olympian's edges, a child, edges, come the fuck on. What is wrong with y'all? They out here killing the fuck out of us. Killing the fuck out of us. Most of y'all agreeing with that shit too. Now we can't even have somebody represent us in the Olympics. They don't have our edges all the way perm the fuck out. Oh, relax out. Some people get mad when I use the word perm. Relax a jail, just all over the edges, you know. That's how they have to look to get respect from black women. Now, I've seen her on commercials where she got her shit, you know, all, you know, I guess straightened or whatever like that when she's in the off fucking season. I've seen her since y'all talk shit about last time. She doing her thing. She lets y'all convince her that she needs to straighten this shit and curl and do all this shit. I've seen it. She even got a doll after her and everything, you know. We can't even support one of our own. One of our own daughters. We can't even support her. That's how sick we are. Solutions? It's hard when this is what the fuck we have to work with right now. This is still happening right now. Shout out to all natural sisters. For, shout out to Gabby Douglas for representing the country the way she is. Shout out to all natural sisters that completely ignore these self-hating bitches when they open their goddamn mouth to talk about your fucking hair. Shout out to y'all. These self-hating ass women, these self-hating ass men that will say something anti your crown. Fuck them. Shout out to y'all for ignoring that shit. This is another example of where unity would really come in uh, good use right here. It would really be nice to have this if we could just support, you know, right? If we could just support our own, that'd be nice, you know, staying behind our own. That'd be nice as hell if we could do that sometimes as a team without talking any shit. No, nothing. Just go Gabby. That's it. That's all you have to tweet. That's all you have to say. Seeing Gabby getting a little flack. She's getting a lot of, she got flack for um, not putting her the hand on her chest on during the um, anthem. She had won another uh, gold medal. Another, understand the, the words I'm using here. Another gold medal. As y'all talking shit about her edges, another gold medal. Um, she, went a, she didn't put her hand on her chest for the singing of the anthem. Right? She since came out and apologized for not doing this. I wish she wouldn't have apologized. I wish. Like, I just want a gold medal for the goddamn country. Fuck y'all. I wish. I wish. I'm not her dad. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't have any influence there, you know. Um, but I wish she wouldn't have apologized. I just want a gold medal for y'all. If that ain't enough, then fuck y'all. That's what I wish she would have done. Pledging allegiance and shit, you know. While our people are being slain, I mean, all willy-nilly. She had to apologize for that shit. Problem. 
very serious problem. I want y'all to understand that if we don't support our own, if we don't support our own in their natural state, how you were born, we cannot pass down any type of self-love in your image to our daughters. It's impossible. Now, people get mad at me for showing love to natural hair, but I don't give a fuck. I got daughters. I have daughters. Do you understand? If we don't treat our black girls like they're our daughters, what the fuck are we doing? Especially as the mothers, the supposed nurturers of the community, the encouragers in the community. That's what it's supposed to be like. Our women talking shit and not enough other women jumping on their motherfucking back. Like, shut your goddamn mouth, you self-hating ass bitch. Yes. Shut the fuck up. Let her be great. You go get your goddamn hair done and shut the fuck up. That's how it should be. That's how we should ride for each other. We should condemn any motherfucker out here not standing with the motherfucking team. Let me read some of y'all's comments. We should. We should condemn them, but we don't. Simone Watson says, I don't put my hand over my heart either or recite it. They're lucky if I stand up while they say, or no, while they say, I think you might have misworded that here. they lucky if I stand up while they, they say the pledge or sing the anthem. Gabby shouldn't have apologized. She shouldn't have. But, you know, she has to try to represent the country and say she meant no disrespect. But she'll never hear the country apologize to her for anything that they do uh, to her people. She won't. Fuck the national anthem. I'm just going to, it's not real. What's up, Andrew? What is up? BB Drawing says, how do you feel about some black women who say you can love yourself with weave? I mean, if they say they can do it, they can do it. That's fine. But if that woman with weave that loves herself with weave says anything to a natural sister that's negative, then fuck her. I don't give a damn. Nothing about her loving herself and all that other shit. She shouldn't have anything negative to say to somebody that's accepted themselves from the way that they are. Not going natural, just being natural. Because that's really all you have to do. All you have to do is just be. And that's how your shit gonna garage your head. So, I mean, if a woman with weave says she love herself, fine, you know, I, I, I won't give too much of an argument against it because, I mean, whatever. Whatever you've convinced yourself of, you've probably been strung out. Another form of crack. We talked about some forms of crack earlier. Another form of little weavy crack probably been getting put on their mind since they was like this. And it's a hard thing to break. They believe it's a part of their identity. They ain't shit if they ain't got no weave in their hair. They ain't shit if they don't have no perm in their hair, relaxer in their hair. They ain't shit. That's what they believe. They can say they love themselves, but they don't have the confidence they have in themselves without all that bullshit in their head. I don't give a fuck what they say. Because I know that to be true. I've known chicks. They take that weave up. Uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. What you doing? I can't. I don't want you to see. You know, I don't want you to see this shit. That like that. Won't take the shit out till they get the guy to the, to the salon. I ain't taking it out. Putting curtains and shit up. You know, my mama do it. I know how they, I know how a lot of them act. They don't want nobody to see that shit. You can't tell me you love yourself if you treat a piece of you like this. You can't, like, you can't ever let it be out. Or don't, like, no, that's, I can't believe that. I can't. I, I just, I mean, I can listen to it. And I ain't got time to argue with these motherfuckers because I know a lot of them are so convinced that they can't, you know, they can't see what you're saying. So I don't really waste a whole lot of time arguing with them no more. But what I can say is I can't be convinced that you love yourself if you have no confidence in yourself or you don't feel beautiful without a relaxer in your hair and or weave. That's the only way that you feel beautiful. Then there's a problem. 
There's a problem. Mad love to y'all natural sisters is in here tonight. I see y'all. Oh, Dylan, tell the goddamn truth. Dylan said, don't even play with water around that weave. Oh, they're, not, they're not having it. They can't have it. That'll fuck some shit up. It's not even more so about the weave. A lot of them spend a lot of money on this weave, so the water ain't gonna fuck that weave up. The water gonna fuck that quote unquote real hair that's underneath the weave. It's gonna fuck that up. It's gonna fuck all that up. That chemical don't mix well with water. That water brings it true. Brings the truth out a little bit with that water. That's all it is. Mahogany Lewis says lack of self-love and knowledge. And it, it, that and the programming. Like, there's not enough women in the in the community, in the black community, that are saying, well, that is some bullshit. Like, you really do have some form of either an identity problem, a confidence problem, or a self-love problem, if this is the only way you can present yourself proudly. Y'all know, y'all know what it is when you get real, you know, you call yourself getting fly, looking nice. A lot of women right now doing that with their own hair, with the fro out. Sexy as hell with the fro, with the locks, natural hair. Um, sexy as hell like that. A lot of women can't even feel sexy like that. They're ashamed that way. They don't feel as cute that way. That's a problem. That is a problem. And we have to understand. And we have to also understand that we can't allow these self-hating ass black women to come out here and attack one of our sisters. We can't allow it. This is a, a child. We cannot allow that. We have to shut the motherfuckers down wherever they show up. Shut them down. Dre Mad said edges be fucked up in their 30s. Man, I saw the other day I was at um in Walmart, the things you see at Walmart, right? I was in Walmart, grown woman. I always see this. Little girl, edges depleting. Already, right, this is a child. Because she got in these tight ass. Cornrows, even though some of y'all say cornrows is a form of protecting salad, a lot of that shit be too tight, a lot of it be pulled back. This child's edge is fading away like a mama. Mama grown. Didn't give a child a chance. Didn't get that baby a fucking chance. So you know what she'll have to do to compensate for her not having edges, to compensate for those bald spots. She'll have to wear a weave. Good chance it's probably gonna be some of that straight shit. And your hair textures have to match. If you're going to get straight weave, you have to have a straight, your roots got to be straight. So now we got a child this early in life, losing her edges, already having to get relaxes just to compensate for the bullshit and weave on top of that. This is what's being created. We have to understand that. But we can't let this mentality be an opinion that can come out of somebody's fucking mouth. We have to shut that shit down. We have to be diligent about shutting this shit down and showing Gabby love. Like, fuck what they talking about. Don't listen to that shit. I be wishing I was a coach for everybody. Like, you know, I be wishing I was a coach for everybody going through a little pressure from these motherfuckers. I be wishing I was there in the in their corner. Like, fuck that shit. Don't listen to them. You stand proud. You stand proud at all times. Because she's paving the way and, and for other little girls. She's paving the way for other little girls to look up. She's somebody they look up to. For real. You got motherfuckers coming out here just, again, saying anything, and we allow them to say anything. We can't even be united on any type of front. Any type of front. From police brutality to supporting an a Olympic gold medal gymnast. We can't even do that. These are problems. 